Hi and welcome to another RuneScape tutorial. We got some text here, it's got the RuneScape font, it's got some RuneScape content and I'm just going to add a spelling mistake here to make it even more authentic. So to begin let's get the Y position here and I'm going to step forward nearly a second in time and uh, just animate the Y position because we're going to be creating the classic RuneScape wave. Now we'll add some easing to this and that will become apparent why we're doing that because if there's no easing it's uh, a bit boring and what we can now do is just add an expression loop out and we're going to use ping pong here so that means we don't need to create any more keyframes it's just going to constantly go up and down back and forth forever which is convenient for us now that looks fine but it's not the uh, runescape wave text let's add text delay to this and let's go firstly uh, enable the separation guide just because I know that these exclamation marks need some tolerance and now we can see they're the same color so that's correct get out of the guide mode and uh, this wave is not really doing it for me so let's increase the delay and we can see the more that we increase the delay uh, if we just go forward in time a bit more um, the more waves we're getting so choose something that's realistic maybe something like this and the um, length of the animation also affects that as well so if we decrease the length we can see we're getting some crazy stuff happening that is not authentic that's looking pretty good I think the wave went a bit quicker in in real life I'm remembering back um, about 15 years here so I'm not sure if my memory serves me correctly but there's plenty of archival footage online. That looks about right. So we've got our text waving about. You'll notice that if we set this to linear, um, that is definitely not what we're going for. It's not smooth at all. So that's why we definitely need some easing. And you can either use uh, the default ease here, or I would suggest ease and whiz uh, sign will do it well. That's the text moving. Now let's animate the hue. So under text delay 1.6, we've got hue here, which we can enable. That's gonna enable uh, a delay of the hue. Of course, we actually need to animate the hue. I'm gonna set that to time times 200. Uh, and now we can see the hue is animating as well. But we'll notice that's not really the RuneScape palette. That's a bit pastely. To get some more control over the colors that are being used, I'm gonna use a different method. I'm gonna generate a ramp and I'm gonna add Colorama to that. Now let's make this a horizontal ramp because I want it to animate horizontally. And you'll notice that um, it's really convenient with Colorama. It starts and ends at red. So that means the loop will be seamless. All we need to do is go to the output cycle uh, sorry no input cycle and um, animate the phase shift so again another expression time times 150 should do it and what this will do is just animate it but it's going the wrong way so times negative 150 that's looking good and now I'll just mat that to the text itself and it will appear as if the the hue is moving with the text so that's looking good. What we can also do is add some glow, not terribly realistic or authentic in regards to RuneScape, but anything, uh, this wouldn't really be a plug in everything tutorial if there wasn't glow. So yeah, got some glow there. Uh, we can also add some chromatic aberration to sort of add some retro vibes to it. Another way to do that, you could add uh, retro dither which is another AE scripts plugin, not sold by us. I'm not getting any money for using this. In fact, I haven't even bought the plugin because I can't afford it. Let's go 256 color palette, some dithering and some down sampling. And I put it before the glow because if it's after the glow, there's gonna be some problems. It's just not gonna give a, give a very good look. Whatever look you're going for, maybe down sample it a bit less. There you go, authentic crappy RuneScape text. Now I know nobody asked for this tutorial, but here it is. And we also have a new exciting text plugin coming up, which will be, we'll share some details of that soon. Uh, I know we already have enough text plugins, but here's another one. And it's gonna be really exciting, I promise.